Welcome to Mind Mentor. In this video, we will discuss about the crime scene management and investigation. It involves a systematic and meticulous process of collecting, preserving, packaging, and forwarding physical and trace evidence to ensure the integrity of the evidence and its admissibility in court. Here is an overview of the steps involved in this process. Unsecuring the crime scene. The first step is to secure the crime scene to prevent contamination and tampering. This involves establishing a perimeter and restricting access to authorized personnel only. 2. Initial Assessment Law enforcement and forensic personnel assess the scene to determine the type of crime, potential hazards, and resources needed for the investigation. 3. Documenting the scene Photographs and sketches are made to document the scene. This includes overall photos, close-ups of evidence, and notes about the scene's condition. 4. Collecting physical evidence. Physical evidence can include weapons, clothing, and other tangible items that may be related to the crime. Evidence is collected using tools like gloves, forceps, and evidence bags to prevent contamination. 5. Preservation of evidence. Proper preservation is critical to maintaining the integrity of the evidence. This may involve using packaging materials like paper bags for clothing, airtight containers for liquids, and envelopes for documents. 6. Chain of Custody A detailed chain of custody record is maintained to track the location and handling of evidence from the moment it is collected. This is crucial for legal purposes to establish the evidence's integrity and authenticity. 7. Collecting Trace Evidence Trace evidence includes microscopic materials such as hair, fibers, glass, and paint. It is collected using tools like tweezers and adhesive lifters, then packaged in airtight containers. Biological evidence collection. Biological evidence, such as blood, semen, or tissue samples, requires special handling and preservation to prevent degradation. It is often collected using swabs and stored in appropriate containers. 9. Latent print collection. If applicable, latent fingerprints are collected using fingerprint brushes, powder, tape, or lifting techniques. 10. Digital evidence. In modern investigations, digital evidence from computers, smartphones, and other electronic devices may also be collected. This requires specialized tools and techniques. 11. Labeling and documentation. All evidence must be labeled with unique identifiers and documented in a chain of custody form, including the date, time, location, and the names of personnel involved. 12. Packaging. Evidence is packaged separately to prevent cross-contamination. It is important to ensure that all containers are properly sealed and labeled. 13. Transportation. Evidence is transported to a forensic laboratory or designated facility. Proper care is taken to prevent damage, tampering, or degradation during transit. 14. Analysis. At the laboratory, experts conduct various tests and examinations to analyze the evidence. This may involve DNA testing, fingerprint analysis, ballistics toxicology, and more. 15. Reporting. Findings and results are documented in a report that may be used in court proceedings. 16. Court presentation. If the case goes to trial, evidence must be presented in a way that maintains its chain of custody and integrity, ensuring it is admissible as evidence. Crime scene management and evidence collection require a high degree of precision, attention to detail, and adherence to established protocols to ensure that the evidence stands up in court and assists in the successful resolution of the case. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe to our channel Mind Mentor.